welcome to my first show vlog of 2019. <laughs> my first show of 2019 as well. I am heading to a training show at a venue called Portmore with little Kess and I plan to do the, I'm going to turn some music off, I plan to do the 110 and 120. She had a break over December so she's not 100% fit but that is my plan and it might not work out, we will see. We might be a little bit late, I've kind of been a bit like slow at getting going this morning. We are currently at the shop getting fuel and then I'm actually just going to a tack shop to see if I can buy white fetlock boots because I bought new white tendon boots and I kind of want it all to match. So I only ever wear boots, uh, back boots at shows with Kess because I feel like it makes her jump with her back end a little bit better. Whereas if I use them all the time, she gets used to them. It's kind of weird. And I, somebody's totally looking at me, but I don't know if I really care. Uh, yeah, he's totally looking in with me. That's really awkward. <laughs> This always happens. I can't vlog in public. Um, so I actually did make a vlog with my friend Beth when she was here. I probably will have uploaded that video before this one. So yeah, that was fun. I'm starting to get good at these vlogs. Or well, not not good, but do them more often. Uh, so yeah, I will... Um, a water, please. Um, so I will... Yeah, I will definitely make more of these vlogs. I love, I actually am really starting to enjoy them. Um, so yeah, I'll take you along with me on my first show of 2019. And it is a training show, so I am just in a training outfit. <laughs> so yeah. We have the Mackie Num Num at the ready. Woohoo! Hi! You have to, hold on. Hi, Gov! Hi, Phoebe! <laughs> Hi! She's like, let me in the car! <laughs> Hi, Scuba! Hi, Riley! Oh my god! Please, Ali, can I come in the car? I'm so cold! <laughs> Will you come in then? Come on! You can get drive down to the yard with this. The brick? You're not getting a winnie today. That's ace. Kiss. Hi. I knew you would say hello. You're some girl. You ready to go jumping? Yeah. She's like, why is my window not open? <laughs> Tough day. I know her little poor luck. Look her. Smile. <laughs> Oh Parker! I'm here ready, Kess is ready and I'm just going to give her tag a quick clean. I'm going to use the uh, Leovet oil soap, I've never used it before. I don't know if this will shine it, I'm not sure. I'm not very good with this sort of stuff. But it's very like, it looks quite nice. <laughs> we'll give it a go. I um, washed the bridle yesterday so it just needs oil, or soaked or whatever. Bammed. That was my messy part of the tag room, it's really bad. Uh, so we're slightly late, might just have to go straight into the 120, so that'll be fun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just a little update vlog, we're playing tag. Yes, no, she's going somewhere. This is about her fourth poo. <laughs> what way she's standing? Look at her, she's so excited. Oh, she wants more. We are ready to go. All ready, and I look, you've been dragged through a hedge. You ready, kids? Showtime. We are ready to rumble. It's a pity her mane's so rubbed. We've got white bits on today. You ready, kiss? Yeah.
guys, <laughs> as you can see, it's much darker. I um, didn't actually forget to vlog after the show. I just fell asleep in the car. So I've actually just put Kess, uh, got Kess back at home and I, I mucked out all the horses. And we are currently sitting, uh, well, I am currently sitting waiting for a nice Chinese dinner. I cannot wait. Um, so yeah, today was good. I think we were both a little bit rusty, probably me more than Kess. Um, I've had a look back at the videos and I am ha really happy with how she went. Um, in the 110, I feel like we just weren't in sync. We just weren't really like on the same page. Um, like she had number two down. And when I was riding her, I felt like I she was fast, but actually watching the video, she wasn't. And like, I have that problem with Kess. I have to find that more forward pace. So then when I come around the corner, I can actually sit up and just wait on the fence. Not necessarily make her like hold her up, but just sit there and let the fence come to me and she jumps far better. And I feel like I rode that way more in the 120. But like in the 110, there was a stride where I, I can't even remember how many strides it was. I think it was near the end, and like there was, it was like a stride out, and it wasn't really a stride like any other horse would have put one in or stopped. It was just awful. Uh, but we all have or make our mistakes, and I definitely make quite a lot of them. <laughs> but Kess is so forgiven, which is um, a major plus. And then in the one twenty, coming around to the second last fence, I was going to go long, and then change my mind last minute. Uh, like three strides out and I was like oh I'm gonna get too far away from this and then I was like I'm gonna get too close I didn't yeah it was just not great so she was she got a bit too close after I held her and that's just an exp not an experience because I feel like we are quite experienced in the ring now but um just a little bit rusty um I should have just let her keep going because you can never change your life your mind last minute like that that's just never gonna work so yeah we just have a lot to work on uh, a couple more training shows before the season starts and i i'm excited um it was nice to be go straight into the 110 and 120 again because usually i get petrified and don't want to do the anything bigger than 110. the courses weren't up to massive height today so it was actually a lovely show to start at um there's my chinese so yeah on that note i will leave you all and thank you for watching again